All right, good morning guys. I'm so excited to tell you guys that I did exactly what I promised I would do um, when I got my Ipsy bag and I did my review and um, I used the products. The first one that I want to tell you guys about is um, the Epice Facial Cleanser. I used it three days in a row. Um, and I have to tell you, the first day that I used it, I cried in the shower. This has a really fine grit. It's like taking a nail file and just scrubbing your face with it. It stings. It feels like a sunburn. Um, and I am um, a cosmetologist, so I know that you know when you clean your face, especially with an exfoliant, you use really light rubbing. You don't, you know, scrub real hard. And that's what I did. So um, this stuff really hurt. Now I will admit, after I washed it off, my face felt great and my makeup went on super smooth. So everybody knows exfoliate your face before you put your makeup on because it will make your makeup so much better. Gets rid of all that dead skin cells. Um, eliminates the um, well, I can't really say it eliminates blackheads, but it does help get rid of them and keep them from coming back because you're not getting all those layers of skin built up. So definitely exfoliate, just definitely do not use this stuff if you have sensitive skin. Mine is not that sensitive. I did use it three days in a row. I exfoliate every day. Like I said, the first day, it felt like I was just taking a nail file across my face, but um, the next two days, I used it yesterday and today, and it didn't hurt as bad, but again, it's still, it still feels painful. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like a sunburn when you're scrubbing your face. So just be aware of that if you got this in your Ipsy bag, um, to be gentle with your stroking because it will hurt. So the second thing is the um, Model and Company Volumize that I received in my Ipsy bag. This is just a trial size, I'm sure, because it's so small and I've never seen one so small. Um, this is the brush that comes with it. As you can see, it's very thick and full, which is great. For me, I have very skimpy eyelashes, which you can see, I have very skimpy eyelashes. And using this, the mascara itself is very dark, and I like that. Um, the brush, because I have skimpy eyelashes, is very difficult for me to use. And I'm not positive if it was the brush or if it was the wand size, but I did use a disposable wand and had the same problem as with this wand size. So, and it, it was the same thickness of brush, so I'm pretty sure it's just the brush size. If you have really thick, long, beautiful lashes, this brush is going to be perfect for you, but I do like this mascara. It goes on kind of clumpy, you have to do it in a couple of different layers, and you really do need to use your mascara um, comb and comb through to get rid of those little things, but if you don't and you like that kind of 80s, early 90s clumpy look, this is great. It is absolutely great. Um, the little bits and pieces that are left on your mascara when you have that clumpy look, they don't fall off with this. They do stay attached. So I really liked this. I just didn't like the brush. The third thing I got this month in my Ipsy look, in my Ipsy glam bag, was this Star Looks um, lip gloss, and its color was Guilty Pleasures. I'm wearing it and it's a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. It is almost the same color as my own lips. It's a little bit more neutral than my lips, I guess you'd say. Um, so, but I like it. It goes on smooth and it doesn't dry out and make my lips feel dried out. And the, the other thing that I liked about it, and this is so weird, it smells good. It smells like cotton candy. Not like a bag of cotton candy, but you know when you're at the fair and you walk by a cotton candy booth, it smells like that cotton candy booth. So I really enjoyed that. 
So this is a definite must buy. I'm gonna go and see if they got a discount on Ipsy, which they usually do. And I am going to definitely look at other Starlux colors. I'm not real fond of this color just because it is so close to my skin tone, but for a neutral, just daytime look, this is perfect. Now, both last month and this month, I got nail polishes. If you guys watched my video last month, you know that I got this Pacifica nail polish in the color of Red Wed Wine. And then this month, I got um, Nicole by OPI. And this color was feeling very cherry. Let me just tell you. <laughs> um, I was a little concerned about this color because if you can see, even in this lighting, it looks brown. And that freaked me out a little bit. So here is the nail colors on. This is the uh, Red Red Wine by Pacifica. My nails are shot, so you know, they didn't, it didn't go on very smooth. And then this is the Nicole by OPI. Um, and you can see there's definitely, um, it's not brown, it is more of a burgundy with a hint of purple in it. Um, so I kind of like it, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna have to live with it for a few days, which is why it's only an accent color. Um, this Red Wed Wine is a pretty color, but I think for me, it's probably gonna be better like on my toes. Not a big red person to begin with for nail colors, except for on my toes. I like my toes to be sexy, guys. Um, so, really liked this color, but better for my toes than my hands. Now, the Pacifica is cruelty-free, and they even put it on there. I don't know if this will focus in. There you go. It's cruelty-free, and it's 100% vegan. I will tell you this. It is not that opaque. This took three coats to go on, and then on top of that, when I put my top coat on, even though my nails were completely dry, like I was tapping on them and there was no you know, fingerprints or anything like that, um, when I put my top coat on, the color actually got picked up on my top coat brush, and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, this one, when it was completely dry, no color got picked up, so it stayed on. And it was almost, oh, let me do a percentage here, it was probably 80% opaque. So if you just need a quick color, this will go on and it'll look beautiful in one coat, but two coats is always better. Now, I want to talk about my top coat and my base coat. I purchased, um, Colt Cosmetics had a thing a couple of months ago, you could get four, it was like a package, um, top coat, base coat, and actually I think it's called a hard top heaven, um, and a matte coat, and one color, and it was $20. It's a great price because Colt Cosmetics nail polish is normally like, what, seven, eight bucks? So I got it. And this is what the base coat looks like. It's kind of a funky green color. This is a botanical base coat. And that's upside down, so let's turn this over. Oh, I had it right. Okay, so it is a botanical base coat. And I love it. It goes on great, and it's really helping strengthen my nails because if you watched my last video, then you also know I took my acrylics off, and my nails are very brittle and dry right now, so I'm constantly putting solar oil on them, and this is the base coat that I'm using just to kind of help strengthen them. Um, this is the top coat, and I only brought these two down, not the whole thing, because this was really what I was concerned about. So Hard Top Heaven is the base coat, and you can see it's fairly um, liquidy in there. Probably not as thick as a normal hard coat that I would use for a top coat, but I liked it. Now, I'm gonna show you, this irks me so bad, and I hope you guys can see this. Um, if my camera focuses, can you see that pink on my rim? That is from the Pacifica 7 Free Nail Color. That is the red from that. Like I said, my nails were completely dry. So 
I'm guessing it is from the Pacifica, um, but there could be something in this top coat and it doesn't, it doesn't say, it doesn't have like an ingredient list on the back of it to say if there is a chemical in here that could have caused that, but I don't believe there is. So guys, watch out for that, especially if you got the Specifica in your September glam bags, to make sure that you use a top coat that you don't really care if it gets a little pink in it. Since this was my clear top coat and I did have a pink one, I didn't even think about it. Um, the pink one I normally use when I have acrylics and I just want a natural look. So um, I think it got me. So that is my reviews for my last two months of glam bags. I will tell you that I have been using the uh, figs and rouge lotion that I received in the October glam bag and I love it. Um, it makes my hands so smooth and it smells so good. I will warn you guys though, if you use it too much, it starts to get kind of a weird chemical smell if that makes any sense. Um, I didn't notice it. Actually, one of my coworkers noticed it and they were like, didn't you just put that on? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, there's some kind of weird chemical smell. So um, that is my reviews for this stuff. So um, I hope you guys can use this information and I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.